one more client coming, so I'm just going to do a little roughing in. This is Daisy, and she is a Shipu. I put my hand underneath the ear. Now, when I start to brush, um, it's kind of like you are top brushing it, and then when it doesn't grab as much, you can go a little bit down, but I'm always aware where the ear is and how much pressure to put on. So I've got the base of the ear, I'm kind of parting it. And I feel some tangles, so I'm gonna move down so that just the ear ends right here at my thumb. So all this down here is nothing. I, I'm brushing, if there wasn't hair here, you, I would just be brushing my fingers. So that is how you can avoid doing any kind of brush burning because brush burning happens when you um, are applying too much pressure and you're going over the same area over and over again. Again, now she's not matted or anything like that, so that's like not likely gonna happen. Here in the back, I put right under the tail, got right where the, the nook is, and I know right where her booty is, so I start parting it at a, kinda at a diagonal to start separating it, and I can come back. And then I'm gonna move down her, her leg naturally bends like that, so I'm just gonna go with that. And then, lightly, 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 lightly. Okay. Tail is the same concept. I've got the tail. I start parting the top, kinda like doing a comb over. And then I just move down, and I'm always aware underneath where the hair is and like on on this part here's the tail i'm feeling it and i'm kind of pulling the hair off of it so everything that i'm brushing is my fingers i'm not brushing on the skin okay. and then i can fold the whole thing in half and brush it Now, Miss Daisy here uh, is getting clean feet. I normally don't do this before, but like I said, I'm waiting for somebody, and so we're gonna do it first. Yes, we are. Uh, I don't have a 30 with me, so I'm gonna do it with a 15. One of the first things also is Uh, it's just natural for me now, but I, I always start in the back and I will always start with the leg that's the hardest for me, which is the back right leg. I'm keeping the leg close to the body so it's not hanging out like that. At the bottom of the nail, I'm just gonna slide over the top just so I can see what's going on. And then I'm gonna go up the pad just to get behind it. Okay. You can turn your clippers around just to start scooping that out. I'm keeping the foot controlled at an angle. At an angle, it's kind of like you just take part of your clippers and you just scoop it out, turn it, scoop it out. And then I like to set my line right above the pad. Now, depending on who teaches you and whatever, they, they all have their different way of doing it. This is the way I like it. And then I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna pull it all up. I see where I started my line. So I'm just gonna follow that around and I'm just gonna go down just so I can see 
where I need to be. Okay, let's get it down. Alright, so again, got a foot resting against my hand. I'm just scooping over the top or sliding over the top till I get to the pad. Okay. Now there's hair right here. I'm just going to flatly scoop it out. <clears throat> and go to the top like that. Now, I'm just going to get her leg, keep it nice in line with her. I'm having my finger here hold where my line is. So I'm just going to pull it up. And I can feel on the other side of my finger where I need to be. And I'm just going to start a line. Okay. Now, this is where I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to move the hair away from the toe. And then I'm going to scoop it down. And then I'm going to come to the other side. I'm going to spread the toe. And again, I'm going to use my thumb to get that hair away from the nail and then I can scoop it out. I'm not doing a lot of going up the foot. I'm kind of going down and up, like sliding up the other nail. There's not really a wrong way on this either. Um, there's less chance of cutting that uh, web right there if you go up the side like that. This is just a rough end, so I'm not worried about getting every little hair. And then we've got, I usually do it with a 30. I usually do um, little feet like this with a 30. And I don't do a 30 reverse. That looks good enough. Now for the front. Check my blade. Scoop, scoop. Okay. And then with the front, I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, I'm pulling it up so that this part of my hand is that's where the back of the pad sits. So now I know, even though I can't see it, that right where my palm of my hand is, that's my line. So I'm just gonna do a line around. Being mindful that there is a dew claw on this other side. But it fits perfectly right there. Doesn't it, baby? Again, my index finger is behind that pad. Do a little line. Lightly scoop. She hates her feet done. She's a she poo, so it's there her hair is it's not like curly like I mean it's wavy but it's not curly like um a poodle so <clears throat> and number four This twisting I'm doing is just like if you get your nails done, it's it's not hurting her. 
It's just us like turning our wrists in weird positions and it's not for very long. Again, finger. Yeah, I know, honey, bunny. I know, honey. There. And that is her clean feet, which I will touch up because my 15 is warm so i had to do that with a tent all right real quickly we'll go ahead and do her face <clears throat> the way i do my poodle faces is the same here's the corner of the eye i'm just making an invisible line from her ear there's that flap so i'm going to go right in front of that flap and i'm going to make a line to the corner of her eye I always put my finger there so they know what I'm doing. And it helps my brain know where I am. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come around and then go in between the eyes. I'm not digging, I'm, it's very, very light. And I'm just gonna make my little V down here. And then I'll come back up and then reverse it. And I'm gonna pull this so I can get that glide. Glide. I have to be very quick because you can see she licks. So and then I go back reverse up to the eye. Now on this side. <coughs> Come here, Corner of the eye to the ear. Mostly also concentrating to get a little, like a little V up in here, okay? And if I don't get it with my clippers, I can get it with my chunkers. I can like finish chunking that out, okay? And that's just a rough in. I will go back over it. Now with the scooping the belly, again, the leg is in line with itself and I'm holding the tail. I'm gonna start at her little area, and I'm gonna come straight out. I'm gonna go straight down. Get both sides of that. And I'm gonna push out with that tuck. And do the same thing over here. Now, it's just very important that when you're dealing with this tuck, you're not doing this because you're gonna catch that flap of skin. So I always come out. Sorry, baby. Okay, and now I'm gonna stand her up. Carefully. And even again, I will just go out if I need to. Boom. Potty trail. Up, I'm not. Pulling her up by her tail. I'm just going to, at an angle, lightly go up. I mean, I barely have her tail. It's just to, I'm just doing a little potty trail for her because she is starting to get older. And that is today's lesson. 
in a beginning rough in. I will also do her nails. Uh, she comes every four weeks, so I will file them. She hates it. She screams. I'll give you one example, and then I'll, I'll do the rest off camera. Again, with nails, if you can learn to do things backwards like this, it makes them feel a little bit more secure because I'm actually kind of holding her like a hug with my arm. And I keep her, again, leg in line. I can't stress that enough. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to come in. I'll just go on low. What I'm gonna do is, here's the nail and here's the pad. I'm gonna go out and back, out and back, out and back. And then when I see the quick, I'm just gonna round it in a circle to get the sharp edges off. Let's see if she'll let me. Yeah, she hates it. It doesn't hurt her. She just really doesn't like it. Okay, let's do another one. I've got my finger and my thumb securing that joint so it's not loosey-goosey. That's how I control them and that's how I can do them efficiently. Back and forth. Back on the top and around. Okay, got it. And back and forth. I'm not digging. I'm just kind of letting the sandpaper do the work and then going over it. But that's the whole secret. <laughs> Back and forth, and then you round it. Because it's this bottom edge that is hard to get. And you can see the quick on all of them. And then that's done, and I'll let it go. So I'm gonna fast forward through this. You did good. You did good. You did good. All right, you're good. really important to sweep in between dogs. So, now let's see. I'm so happy I roughed her in now. You don't need a big expensive anything. You can stick it in your shirt and hold it in your bra or usually the shirt supports it. So, you know, okay. All right. Daisy is going to get a, I call it a large lift, uh, but it's a half inch lift. Where are you at? You probably can't even see that. Okay. Uh, again, I would normally use a 30 blade, but I don't have that here at the house. So I'm going to do a 15. Okay. Comb up the top. I used to always start up at the base of the head. I don't really do that anymore. Um, I just start here, right between the shoulder blades, and I could do a straight line, basically down to the spine, which meets to the top of the tail. That's my first line. I'm gonna go right next to it, right next to it, 
right next to it. I don't really make a lot of money at home, but I'm not doing these clients for the money. Um, it's just my way of giving back to where I can keep their prices low. Um, and give back for them just being amazing. All right, so I did my line from the, between the shoulder blades, I went straight down to, to meet at the base of the tail, not on the tail. And now I, I do my part where I stick my finger up and I just kind of do these diagonal. I'm going with the shape of the leg. And go straight down. I'm not digging, you know, because if you dig, you're, you can catch skin. Not likely with a lift, but I, I just say never say never, so. Now I'm gonna go to the other side. And go around. Okay, there's the shoulder blade. I'm just kind of doing this diagonal. I've got the tuck, I know where the base of the tail is, so I'm not grabbing it. And sometimes, or well not sometimes, all the time, I did my initial line. If I go a little bit more to the side I just did and do like this diagonal over it, you can catch anything that might have been missed versus just doing straight lines. You kind of cross over a little bit you can get, that's how you can get all of it. Lightly going through that tuck. Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and do this leg since I'm right here. I'm just gonna fluff this up. Use that tuck. Lightly. Straight down. Something else I just realized is I flipped my clippers between my hands. Um, that is a useful thing to do. I wish I could do it with my scissors because then, man, I would just, I would really get going. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. Trying out some new scissors. Uh, I'm not sure if I like them, so I'm, you'll probably see me switch back and forth. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and comb her. She is getting the poodle feet. So, okay. Uh, again, I start from the same, this is the hardest leg for me. So I always start from the back and work my hardest leg to get it out of the way. So I'm gonna lightly comb it down. I'm gonna let her just pick it up in her natural stance. I've already created that line, so I'm just gonna take anything that's hanging over. And just up. And I'm just gonna cut a line around. I don't have to do a lot on her because I do her so often. And then take the wide side of my comb. not a lot to take off so I'm not going to dawdle just taking bits you can take this like 
here's the back where that butt bone is. And instead of going straight down, you can curve to the, full, to the front. And that helps get this stuff that hides. And I'm a tip scissorer, so I use the tips of my scissors a lot. And I can just lightly take off the smallest amount. Okay. Her. So I'm just going to cut a line. And on her, what I'm going to do is here's the back, here's my tuck up here, and I, st I don't start at the top. You could. But I like to set, because this is gonna be puffier than up here normally, because normally you blend off when you run your blade or whatever. And I wanna get this. this. There's not a lot to take off, as you can see. So I'm just going to, I go in here and I'm just taking the very ends off and I'm meeting to the top of that. And I do these lines like this. I come around like this, instead of just going straight down. I do go straight down, but when I'm finishing it or some point, I come around, I come around and I come around. And if you divide the leg, then you're not overwhelmed by how long it is. Because on the bigger dogs, it can get you can get lost really easy. So if you do the same type style each dog, then you you can keep your place. Okay. And then I go down a little bit more, just to the front. I'm not worried about the front, you know. And then a little bit more, and then you can turn it. Pull that out a little bit, okay, and then you can get in here, which you're not going to be able to see because I'm going to be in the way. But I'm just taking a line inside now and going straight down to the top of that where I shaped. Tuck. I'm really big on this. I like this and I do it with my schnauzers too. I do a tuck so it's this curve thing, which I do have some schnauzers so that'll be fun. I don't know if people really still do it anymore, but I like the effect of it, so. And so when I'm looking at it, this looks bowed a little bit this looks good and then this looks like it's bowing so i'm going to start right here and i'm going to go straight down and then i'm turning my angle and i'm going to go straight down being aware that there is a bone right there i'm just lightly taking bits off that's all it is on her now Like I said, she is a shampoo. And I'm gonna take a large, I'm gonna notch her tail a little bit. Like that much, about two inches. Um, okay, I'm gonna comb it straight down. I just, that's the top of her tail. I just felt it. 
So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit and I'm just taking these ends off. What you doing, girl? Okay. Okay. Now, since she's got a long tail, this is how I flag it. As I'm pulling, as I'm going down the tail, my thumb is holding it, I'm kind of doing this part thing until I get to the end and then I let it go. I'm not pinching it, I'm just lightly holding it. They get away from me more times than not. Come here, Betty, just turn around the hat. And then, if you pull their tail, or I should say hold their tail, I have to really watch how I talk, um, straight out from them. See how that is? Now I can just take this bottom part off. And if you lift it up, you can get the rest of it, okay? In here. And then if I pull it back down, I can get this side. It's nothing extreme. And then she's just got a little floof. A floof of Okay, honey. Okay, now come back up here to the front. There's where we started, but now I'm going to pull the ear. And that's the back of the ear. Pulling it over, pulling it over lightly. Up. Just think of it like parts, constantly parting. You don't have to hold them very hard. I mean, literally, I'm not holding. to the side, go straight down, part it to the side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and I'll meet you back for the top knot. Here we are. Now with them, I've come to realize that, that they just have flat heads. So all I do with them is I comb it all forward, cut my line above their eyes. Okay. I'm gonna flip this ear back and I'm gonna try and neaten up that line that I created. Okay. On the other side. And when I do that, I go ahead and find the top of the ear. So I just extend that top of the ear. I know that's hard to see, it's hard to explain. And then I'm just going to fluff this up. And then all I'm doing, I always start it this way. It's basically like the middle of the head and the back. And I'm bringing a circle meeting to the top of the ear around. Top of the ear. Now I'm on the side of the head. I already created... I already took this in, so I'm just meeting to that. In the back, I always use my fingers to see where I am. That's the back of the ear. I'm just gonna tip and get myself to the other side. Again, back of the head. Just 
like the worst angle. I'm just taking the square off. We'll go more into this. She just looks better when I try to do it like a teddy bear head, is basically what I'm saying. I Except the difference is um, I wouldn't take it so tight above the ears on a teddy bear head. Um, it would blend in more, um, but it's so flat, it just lays better. I used to try to do like a top knot and it just doesn't work. may have to just film bubbles next time. Thank you for that. That's exactly what I needed. Nothing like them shaking their head. It just makes, you can really get those extra bits. So I'm going to come from the side so I can really see. There. Better. Okay. 